Entrepreneurs are growing in number, and that is great news both locally and around the nation because small businesses do drive the economy. Tom Sullivan is the vice president of small business policy for the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, and he is here with us this morning. Good morning, Tom. And good morning, Angie. I couldn't agree with you more. There's tremendously positive news on Main Streets in Indiana. We see data that show 54% increase in new applications last year compared to pre-COVID. Well, what, you, what do you think? Was it the pandemic that caused people to kind of shift how they want to work and say, I'm going to work for myself? I think that's part of it. There's really two reasons why we see this uptick in new business applications. One is government stimulus that actually put some money in the pockets of Americans and, and allowed for them to make the leap and, and, and dream, you know, live their dreams of starting a small business. The other and actually more important reason is that small businesses are started to solve problems. And in April 2020, when did we have a more condensed set of problems <laughs> right. than at the beginning of COVID? So small businesses swooped in to solve those problems. That's why we saw the uptick primarily in transportation, logistics, and delivery at the beginning of the pandemic. I mean, how many how many packages can FedEx and UPS deliver, right? So right. small businesses swooped in to fill that void. We then see those businesses morph into other businesses, primarily in the e-commerce world, and that has been responsible for most of the uptick of new businesses. We're excited about this uptick. We're doing everything possible to make sure that it continues. Well, now, how can these uh, small businesses and entrepreneurs be selected for America's small business? And what's that application process like? Thank you, Angie. We are just launching America's top small business awards program. So the applications are open now and can be found at uschamber.com. The application itself is fairly simple. It's for all small businesses under 250 employees or under 20 million in gross revenues. And it simply asks small businesses to tell their story. Why should they be considered America's top small business? And there are a series of prompts. For instance, what is the greatest obstacle you've had to overcome to be successful? And I can't wait to see these applications because they truly tell the story of America's free enterprise. Now, is there a window of opportunity to apply for this? Angie, there sure is. Applications are open now and run through July 7th. That will give us enough time to uh, judge these applications. And then the top, the top finalists from the seven regions of the United States will, be, will come to Washington, D.C. to compete for the grand prize of $25,000. That is big news for little businesses, and I'm so glad that you're sharing it with us. Where can you send our viewers so they can learn more and find the application, et cetera? Angie, all of this information and more can be found at our main website of uschamber.com. Tom, it was so nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you as well. Take care. You too. We'll be back with more Local Lifestyles. Stay with us.